What is happening guys, Cowboy here, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. And I have accidentally stumbled onto an awesome trick. So right after he rescued his sister, it did an autosave. And this chest doesn't spawn that loot immediately. So what I was able to do is check the chest, reload the save. Check the chest, reload the save. And it kept recycling what loot was in it for me. So uh, I ended up... I didn't want to go too long, and I got one that had a really nice roll uh, involving a 40% frost and a 37% damage. So I took that one. You can see here's my uh, my 40. Where's my 40 freeze at? Oh wow, it's a freeze and a shock. I didn't know that. Uh, do I want to take you? You're gonna boost my your 45 freeze. Mm, no, I lose too much fire. Um, what about my other bow? Where's my other bow that uses freeze arrows? 35 freeze. Hmm, I'll lose a good chunk of corruption, but I could gain more shock. Um, mm, 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 mm. I kind of like that. So I'll put this at, at 38, 35, 79. That's good. All right. Um, yeah, but we got a three damage in there, and then I moved one of the damage over to the trip caster now. So the trip caster, you can see the blast damage is, is pretty, pretty nuts on that at 269. Uh, so that'll be a nice little boost. But anyway, uh, let's continue things on. So we had checked that. Durval's records, maybe. Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. Find it. I'll bet we find her vault too. Oh, she's gonna blow the city up. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Oh, well, we figured out what happened to Ursa and Living Shadow. Okay, so we're on the sun. We're actually on the sun shall fall. We're not on looming shadow yet. I don't know why it's saying looming shadow, <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna fast travel there, uh, and this is gonna take a while because it is brutal low times. Actually, mm, yeah, I was thinking maybe. It'd be faster to just fast travel outside of the city and then run in, but that elevator takes an equally long time. I think it's there to, to give a false sense of load. So we'll actually do this. But, I mean, honestly, the rest of the game's not too bad in terms of load times. Like, this one load is definitely, like, pre-patch Bloodborne quality. I love how that's a metric of measurement for load times, is how bad the Bloodborne load times were. Um, but, I mean, it is loading in the entire city, so it's like, I think it's acceptable. I mean, for the most part, this game actually loads up pretty damn fast, considering how big the world is and, and everything. We're just gonna fuck some shit up. I mean, if there's a bunch of blaze, I'll just, you know, well, probably actually, I was gonna say just use fire and blow everything up, but if there's a huge amount of blaze, we could potentially endanger the city doing that. So, maybe not a good idea. Maybe I should refrain from using fire. I do wanna try out the blast now that I got that upgrade. Like, I don't think it's gonna be huge, but I am kinda curious to see what a trip caster could do that's slotted with three damage. If, like, the blast trip wires would just be, like, an insane level enough to just, like, instantly decimate stuff like Sawtooths. Because, I mean, you guys saw what the blast caster... Well, the, the trip caster with blast wires was doing earlier. But, um... If we bump that damage way up, it could be pretty nasty. Alright, to the palace we go.
I can ever remember how to get around this damn place. City is always like a, a, it's slightly mazy, given how like half the routes you can't take. But I mean, the waypoint does a pretty good job of being like, go this way, go this way, go this way. I just very much like to cut corners, which I mean, following the waypoint, you kind of punish yourself by uh, trying to cut corners. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come. Vod, the bad guys are coming for you. Supernova Guardian coming to save the day now. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Hey, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I will. But once this threat to Meridian is dealt with, another one looms. We have to talk about the Eclipse. We will. I promise. Like, quite literally. Like, that threat is looming right now. And it's only on break because this mission popped up. The sun shall fall. I don't know why. I love the like the pinch of bullet time they added into to this game, like like that little bit when you jump, or if you scope in, you get a little bit, or if you slide, you get a. It's like just enough bullet time to not completely ruin the experience, but give you like that little advantage Everyone you need in super fast combat. combat. Come, let's talk it over. Slow mo. Preferably with no friends or family. It's huge. This whole thing just explosives. This is the place. You home, Durval? 
I got a surprise for you. That's Lovelace. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Probably shouldn't have kicked open the door. Or blaze. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, come on, dude. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. Shot. The Meridian's still standing. This is over. Duval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Derval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. I mean, so we pushed it out the window, but like, didn't that just fall and destroy like a bunch of the lower city below us? Man. Oh, looks like I'm not going back in there to get a better view. Blue tracks, with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I you in a reasonable shell? Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. A moment of your time, Outlander? Oh. oh Leave me alone. Feet. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. <laughs> this must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He, Durval did find a way into the palace. Pretty resourceful for a bad guy. Like bombs, sneaking into the palace. I mean, I'm gonna catch him and whoop his ass before he can do anything. Because that's what I do. I wish I could. You'll do. Headshot! Headshot! 
here I am with full potions. Honestly, I could probably use these. 27, like, those are probably hard enough to start headshotting people. Enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't. I I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No. It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! How do I turn it off? Here we go. Because regularly hitting it doesn't work. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Yeah? You think that's gonna stop me? Can we finish this? I've got a sound god to kill. It's kinda hard to see your face when you're frozen. Did you really just die to one triple headshot? What a bitch. Oh. Bitch, get down. No, no, it, it really is. Any good Osiram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. You think calling in some robots is gonna stop me? Like, dude, have you seen the robots I take out? Like, bro, I got time to fucking. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Okay, buddy. So what do I have left here? Some health stuff. No, oh, I can use those. I can use both of those, actually. Stop hitting me, birds. Those majestic, murderous glint hawks. Glint hawks are weak to fire. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Actually, you know what? These things are really annoying. Murderous glint hawks. Dude, they're like already down. Just calm yourself, right? Sorry to break it to you, but I hope you like fighting these things because there's more in the way.
critical, heavy, and critical. Listen, you got I have a really piss poor angle on you. If you could just come back here. There we go. Bitch, stay down. are gonna stop me. This one got beat so bad it's still twitching. Rope caster the shit out of your glint hawks. Weak ass bitch. I'll come back to you in a second. You're coming. I like, more. unbelievable. Like, if this dude had like an army of thunder jaws, all right, that might be a challenge. But a couple glint hawks. Mmm, <laughs> get twat squatted, bitch. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. So where's Durval at? I wanna see what douchebag has to say for himself. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. 
Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I hate to tell you this after everything you've been through. But there's another fight brewing, and I need your help. Helis and his fanatics are coming from Meridian. No rest for the weary, huh? Well, don't worry. I'll be there for you. Right? I wonder how... Uh, it's way down below. Well, I feel like if I talk to Avad, the mission will finish. I mean, I don't really care what Durval has to say. If I can catch him on the way out, I will. But let's talk to Avad since he's right here. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. Avad, stop. There's something urgent we have to- I know, but please, just listen for a moment. I want you to stay in Meridian. What? Why? Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, uh, capable, I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please, accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time to resolve my feelings. Huh. But you had something urgent? to discuss? Helis is preparing to attack Meridian. It could come at any time. By the sun. Wait a moment. I want Murad to hear this. Aloy, the Sun King tells me that you bring grave news. Please, tell us what you know. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, Your Radiance. Yes, 
Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. All right. Oh, well, I guess we're, we're not going to get to hear about everything she knows. Uh, dodge prowess. What is this? Knockdown. That's actually, it that could be good. Knockdown machines. But I think I'd rather have quiet sprint. But so with that done, looks like all's we do, yeah, we go and we talk to, uh, talk to Blameless Maraud and then Looming Shadow kicks off. So anyway, wrapping this one up now, definitely a longer episode, quite a bit of dialogue. But either way, we will catch you guys next time with more Horizon Zero Dawn.